In this video I'm going to talk about what a database actually is. A database is a collection of information. Access offers a mechanism for managing, retrieving and storing that information and it does this through something called tables. Access is a relational database which essentially means everything is related together um, via tables. So we might have a customers table and an orders table and they'll be related by a common field. In a non-relational database all data is stored in a flat file or in the same table. So for example looking at this one customers and orders we can see we have customers information in here but we also have orders information as well. Now immediately there's a problem with this we can see this customer here, Julie James, has two orders. Now what if Julie James changes her name? Supposing she gets married and changes her name to Julie Jones. Well, we'd have to find every occurrence of her in this table and update the record to her new name. Not very practical. Also, supposing we want to do, to do a query on her name. Somebody spelt it wrong. They put in a Z on the end, or two S's and we would have put in the query criteria find everything with Julie James well it's not going to pick this one out because it's got two S's at the end, it's spelt incorrectly so what we should be doing here we should be splitting the information into separate facts so that we have company information in one table and we have order information in a separate table linked by a common key so we look at the customers table in a properly relational database set up we can see we have custom, customer information here and nothing but customer information so we don't have any orders information in here at all also each record is only entered once now looking at the orders table that's also now split into a separate fact of orders. There's no customer information here whatsoever. Notice this field here, customer ID. Well, that's the same field as customer ID in the customers table. And that's what's actually relating the two tables together. Now the good thing about this, should one of the records change, for example this one is customer ID 2, and we know customer ID 2 Smith's Holdings Limited. If it suddenly didn't become limited and it became Smith's Holdings, we've changed it there. But for every order that we have now, it's not going to affect anything because we're only linking it by the number two. So we don't have to go through the orders table updating it hundreds of times as in the previous example. All we have to do, change it once in the customers table and because of the link by a customer ID here we can link directly to it and we don't have to make any changes in the order table so that's basically how a relational database works split everything down into separate facts customers is a separate fact, orders is a separate fact order details is a separate fact, products are a separate fact keep them in separate tables and link them by common ID there's a bit more to it than that but that gives you a start anyway